Hello, this is a walkthrough of how to locate, save, and publish your recorded GoToMeetings to your Ivy Tech YouTube channel. The college will soon be transitioning from GoToMeeting to Zoom for its online synchronous meeting tool. And you'll need to download any recorded meetings that you have stored in GoToMeeting and utilize some other method for sharing them with your audience. In this case, we're going to show you how to use your YouTube channel, your Ivy Tech YouTube channel, as that method of sharing these videos. The first thing you'll want to do is go to global.gotomeeting.com and if you're already logged into some other Ivy Tech um, resource it will take you straight into GoToMeeting. If you hadn't been logged in in your browser to some other Ivy Tech resource then you'll need to click on login and log into your GoToMeeting account. Once you're here You'll want to click on Meeting History, and that will bring up the history of all the meetings you've had in GoToMeeting. And any of the ones that you had recorded will show a View Recording and Transcript section here in the middle. And you can download that recording by clicking on the downward facing arrow icon. So we're going to click on that. And it'll ask if you want to open or save the file. We want to save the file. So in most cases, that will go to your downloads folder. Now we want to go to YouTube, but we want to make sure that we are logged in to our Ivy Tech account when we get to YouTube. So I'm going to type in YouTube here. And then I'm going to look up in the corner. And I can tell by this picture showing up for my profile that this is actually my personal YouTube account and that's not what I want. So I'm going to click on my profile picture and I'm logged in with my personal Gmail account. I'm going to click on switch accounts. You can either sign out and sign back in with your Ivy Tech or if you've used both at some point in the past you may be able to see your Ivy Tech account here. So I'm just going to switch accounts to my Ivy Tech one. And if you didn't realize it, every Ivy Tech student, faculty, and staff has their own Google account, which includes YouTube, Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive, all those different Google tools and resources you can access with your Ivy Tech account. So now I'm logged in with my Ivy Tech account. And to upload a new video to your account, you click on the Create a Video or Post icon. It looks like a video camera with a plus on it and select Upload Video. Here you can drag and drop your video file onto this area, or if you click, it will let you browse. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and here's my file, Brett's Meeting from 2019-03-21, and I'll click Open. At this point, it will begin processing the video, and depending on how long your video is, that could take quite a while. So you don't have to stay on this page and wait until it's completely done processing. At any point, you can go ahead and click Publish. But before you do, you can adjust the title of your video, you can add a description, you can put tags or keywords in here. And once it's done processing, you can also choose different thumbnails or put in a custom thumbnail if you want to. This was a very short video that I created just for this walkthrough, um, so it didn't take very long at all. It's already done. Down here you need to choose the privacy settings, which can be public, unlisted, private, or scheduled. Public means anybody in the world can see it, and it will show up in searches of YouTube. Unlisted means anybody who has the link can see it, but it will not show up in searches, so people are unlikely to just stumble upon it. And private means only people that you share it with will be able to view it. So you have to share it with specific people. And scheduled we won't use right now. In most cases you should probably be choosing public, unlisted, or private. And it really depends on if there's any content that you want to make sure is secure and only certain people are able to view it then you might want to use private. If there's not really any protected content, 
um, but you really would prefer that it not show up in searches, you can do unlisted. Or if it's content that anybody in the world can view and it's fine with you, you can do public. I tend to do unlisted. And then I'll just share the link with whoever needs to see it. And I'm going to click done. And it'll give you a link that you can share with people via email, via Canvas announcements, or you can post it within Canvas or Ivy Learn, wherever you'd like to. So I'm going to copy that link. And then I'm going to go to Ivy Learn or Canvas. Okay, I'm in my sandbox in Ivy Learn. And I'm going to create a new page. And I'm just using this as an example, but any time you see the rich content editor, which is this text box here, you can paste a YouTube link in there and then either hit space or enter, and it will automatically replace that link with an embedded video. So if we call this go to meeting recordings and save and publish it, you'll see that it automatically creates an embedded video which the user can play. And that could be in a page, an assignment, an announcement, any kind of content within Ivy Learn or Canvas will automatically create an embedded video based on a YouTube link. And that's all there is to it.